I am the Five Minute Professor and we are here along the shores of the Orinoco River in South America. That's, that's actually not really true. We're at the same pond we were at last week when I was talking about owls. But if this was South America, this body of water would probably have piranha in it. And we know piranha are vicious schooling animals that can completely devour a cow in just minutes, and it's not true. Piranha are schooling animals. They school when they're juveniles, but as adults, they're pretty, pretty solitary. They school when they're juveniles to protect them. They are prey fish, not predator fish, by far and large, in spite of their very scary teeth. Those teeth are designed for taking bites out of things, to take a scale or a fin off of a larger fish and then to be chased away. They spend most of their time in hiding in the rivers of South America. But as juveniles, they're small and to avoid predation, they school together. Now, it is true that under just the right circumstances, Piranha will bite and attack humans, and under exactly the right circumstances, they can also, uh, well, devour a cow. So here are those circumstances. There is a rainy season and a dry season in the tropical rainforests of South America, and during the dry season, when food is scarcer, they tend to get a little bit more finicky. They're uh, more likely to encounter humans in the water. And when that happens, they will bite, especially if they're frightened, kind of like a shark bite. However, deaths are rare. Uh, there is a relatively recent story of a six-year-old that fell out of her grandmother's canoe and uh, she died in the water and the story was widely reported that she died because she was eaten by piranha. What is actually more likely is that she died and then she was eaten by piranha, although she may have been bitten by piranha before she died as well. However, that probably didn't kill her, but she probably did die. Well, she definitely died. Now, having said that, uh, there are a couple other ex er, examples where uh, a drunk man fell into the river and was uh, devoured or bitten severely by piranha and he died. Uh, but generally, piranha attacks are a bite, much like shark attacks are a bite. But piranha aren't quite as sophisticated of an eating and killing machine as a shark, so they're not really just tasting you to see if they're any good. Uh, they're taking a bite and they're eating it and then they're leaving. Perceptum. Oh, you know what? Before we get to the perceptum, there is something else I want to tell you. The reason that we think that piranha are vicious killing machines. That is because former president, Theodore Roosevelt, after running as the Bull Moose candidate in 1912 and really screwing up the election for the Republicans, he went down to South America. And in South America, because of the way he was traveling, the locals knew he was coming for quite a few days. And he was a rather international celebrity, former president of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. So when he got to this one village, they had actually corralled a school of piranha, juvenile piranha, in a kind of tidal pool area and starved them for days. And then they fed them a cow. So he thought that's how piranha ate. And they did not dissuade him from this belief. They did not try and make it so that he did not believe that misinformation. And then when he wrote his book about the journey, that's the story. Now, that doesn't explain the movies that have been made about piranha. That does not explain why James Bond villain Blofeld had piranha. None of that is explained by the Theodore Roosevelt story, but well, it still exists. And nothing, not one single thing on this planet explains Piranha 3D or its sequel, Piranha 3 Double D. Perceptum, Quispium, Damnetium. Learn something, damn it. I'm the 5-Minute Professor, and thank you very much for listening to today's lesson. If you have any comments at all, please put them in the comments section down below. And of course, like it.
and subscribe to the channel. But most important, if you liked it, if you commented, and if you subscribed, tell your friends. Perceptum, quispium, damnitium. Learn something, damn it.